Hey guys, I have a little review for you today of the Reborns Gundam. Let's see, let's see if we can get the box in here. Um, cool box work, and it has all the usual stuff you uh, expect from a box. As you can see, it is retail 1800 yen. I overpaid for this, about twice as much. I think I paid $28 US for this, unfortunately. I didn't know how to read the prices uh, when I bought this, so I overpaid, unfortunately. Um, so, first we'll start off with my favorite thing in the whole world, articulation. So, let's get started with this. We'll take off his accessories for now. And, um, as you can see, he is painted. I did paint him. Um, I didn't put a top coat on him, because I don't have any. And I messed up in some areas, so I'm just gonna leave him unpainted. I think he looks nice as he is. Um, some chip, some paint might chip off, but that's okay. So articulation time. First, um, he does transform. He transforms into the reborn cannon. So a lot of the articulation is because of the cannon mode, but I'll still go over it anyway. Basically, in the Gundam mode, he has a swivel, and then it also moves up and down, and then the shoulder pad itself moves up and down, and then this little piece on the shoulder pad goes forward and backwards. He has a swivel on his arm right there, he has a joint right here on his arm. Then this part swivels like so. That's for part of the transformation. This part goes forward and backwards, part of the transformation. Hand is on the ball joint, as usual. And the other arm is exactly the same. His head, double ball joint, a ball joint at the top and bottom. So he can have a good time spins all the way around, don't understand why people do this, because he's never going to have to look in back of him, because he has two heads. We'll look at that later. <laughs> um, as for the body, he has a forward and backwards joint right here in the middle, so you can go forward and backwards like that, and this has another peg so you can turn side to side, uh, but the center body doesn't really move, but that goes forward and backwards. Then he has front skirts, which are on a ball joint, side skirts, ball joint, and now these back skirts. Uh, the deal with these is the model kit it tell, tells you to attach them together and they're connected, but you can cut them in half and they work like ball joints. So if you don't um, cut them in half, it just goes up and down, but otherwise they're on a ball joint. So it depends what you want to do. Um, let's look at his quote-unquote backpack back here. I don't have the uh, fin funnels in. We'll talk about that later. Um, so basically, he has his thrusters on the back. He has this moves up and down to reveal his thruster. His thruster inside has a ball joint. It's pretty dark. And um, these thrusters go up and down. These go up and down, not as easily. Um, it's on a ball joint too, so there's a lot of posability with these thrusters. And then the other thing is, it has th these, which are his beam sabers. Um, it shows him having them like this, where they're deployed, but I personally like to keep them down like that. It's up to you. So his legs on a ball joint right here. Now these are a big transforming piece. So basically his leg goes um, back all that way but it also goes forward. It also goes forward a little bit and that's part of the transformation you'll see. Now he also has um, a little gimmick where as you can see his leg goes forward and it pulls this piece out just like that. 
and that's kind of part of the gimmick too. These go forward all the way and it's got like some auto transform in there. As you can see, you press it forward and it pops out these side panels like so. So that's a bit of articulation, I suppose. But that's part of the transformation in his reborn or cannon mode. Then let's go to the feet. Feet is on it's all it has a swivel joint in here. So it swivels like that, but it's also on a ball joint. And this is part of the transformation, but I find it really useful. It tells you to pose his feet like this. Now I personally like to move it forward about this much and he gets a lot more better traction because when he's like this he's really stilty and he topples over easy. But if you put it like this he uh, can stand a whole lot better. And I think it looks better too. But as for articulation um, this little piece goes flat like that and these can go flat which we will see later in transformation. So. I've talked so much about this transformation. Before I go into big detail about his accessories, we will do a transformation. So really the first thing we do is flip him around. He's already partially transformed. Congratulations. Um, so we get his arms, swivel them around like so. Now you'll notice, what? His hands are backwards. How's he gonna, that doesn't work. Well. Unfortunately, he gets new hands. Uh, you flip this around, or no, you don't flip that around. You get this, flip it around about that much. Yeah, you flip it around and turn it like that. Same thing here, flip it around, turn it like that. Um, and then he has little hands, little dinky grabby hands. Don't understand why and little dinky grabby hands go on there. So now he has little dinky grabby hands. Next we are going to get the body and kind of you know push it down like that. And then we get the arms, bring the arms, unpeg the arms, and you bring them backwards. Then you get the shoulder pads, bring them all the way down, and then when you unpeg the arms, it unpegs this headpiece and you push the head down all the way, which reveals the reborn's head. And you move this down, which I already have moved down. Um, then his legs, you see where that gimmick comes in. You push forward and it splits the back half in half, the half in half. Ooh. Um, yeah, it doesn't always work that well. Really, I think you're better off just um, trying to pull them apart with your hands instead of letting it quote unquote auto transform because you might end up breaking your model. I haven't had it happen, but um, yeah, I don't want it to happen. So maybe you'd partially transform it and then push it down because I feel like this piece is going to break. I don't know if it already did. It might have broken inside already because it feels kind of loose. So basically you do it like that and uh, his, his leg came a little loose. That's probably why. His leg came loose. So there. Um, then all you have to do is make the feet flat and he is reborn cannon almost. Um, this is where accessories come in. So he is Mr. Reborn, cannon mode, and first accessories that this comes with is fin, I think they're called, I'm pretty sure they're called fin funnels. Now you can put these in when he's in his uh, Gundam mode, but really uh, they come into play in the cannon mode. So he has four of them. I th I've never watched the anime. Keep this in mind. Uh, I don't watch the anime. I just buy these because I think they look cool. Uh, maybe you think that's weird. But basically you have that. And he has these huge freaking... They're called fin funnels, I'm pretty sure. But 
They're just beam cannons, I think. If I'm wrong, sorry. Um, so here we have him with his fin funnels, and he goes pew pew pew. So I've heard people, as for the review side of this, I've read other reviews and listened, I guess, and people have had these funnels not sit inside the Gundam very well. Now, mine's painted, so it's very, very tight. I had to, like, force them in when I first put them in. So just keep that in mind that they might be loose if you're not going to paint this. Now, before moving on, I'm going to mention something. He does come with a sticker sheet. I consider this accessories. Um, sticker sheet, he is supposed to have stickers that go here on his pants. So this is a pure red part. He has a sticker that goes in here, this gray part. So this part right here originally is all white and it's going to be white there too, or light gray. So that, just keep in mind, that's going to all be light gray even when you put the sticker on. Then he comes with a stick sticker back for the gem on his head and a tiny little gem on his head which I did use because they look nice. He also has one in the center which I used but I did paint these parts but I still think it helps. And he also has a sticker for his face mask and his gem. So that's all the stickers you get. See there's his eyes and his back mask and then he also has stickers for these black lines right here for the chest piece right here so this is all solid white and you have to put that sticker in and what else am I missing uh, I know there's other then his legs there's black lines here that's all white and that's where you put the other stickers in and that should be all the stickers he comes with and they are foil stickers so just keep that in mind maybe you dislike foil stickers I don't know um, but that's all the stickers he comes with. Other accessories. He comes with his freaking huge beam cannon. It is almost the size of him. Um, it has this part where it comes into play. I'll show you when he's back in his Gundam mode. But um, in reborn cannon mode, you keep it like this. And he's got a little peg under his arm. And you can peg that right into his arm. And obviously painted, it fits nice and snug. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, before I forget, I think these are called GN drives. I'm not sure. These are GN drives. If I'm right, let me know. So I don't know what the big deal about those is. Again, never watched anime. But he, <laughs> he has two of them. So if those make you cool, then he's double cool. Um, so yeah, he's got his hand cannon, and he comes with a shield. Now the neat thing about the shield um, is that <clears throat> this is hard to pull out because it's painted, but these do pull out when I can get them to pull out. Excuse me, and they pull out. Now, just gonna let you know now. The majority of this red piece, as you can see, is gray. The whole back is gray, and this is gray. This piece comes in red. So this whole entire part is going to be red, unpainted. And this will all be red. But this white piece is still, or light gray piece is still light gray. Now the thing about these shields is these are supposed to be fin funnels. So imagination time, those are fin funnels. They can... I think they can fly off and kill everything. Also, um, for fin funnels, I'm going to laugh if at the end of this it's not called fin funnels and I just messed up the whole entire review, but I probably won't do it over again. These pants, that's fin funnel, fin funnel, fin funnel, fin funnel. So, yeah. And then his shield goes like that on his arm. Pegs right in. So there he is with all his accessories. And the interesting thing is that I forgot what I was going to say. But um, 
I guess I will transform him back and show you his accessories in his Gundam mode. So obviously take arms off, or hands off, and we get the legs, flip them back around, uh, push those in. For some reason it, it's staying cracked, but it stays cracked like that on both models, so um, I think that's only because it's painted, I'm not sure. By the way, before I forget, this part will be white, uh, light gray, unpainted, just to let you know. But it shows it gray on the kit. I don't know why they didn't mold it in gray, but uh, so you, you're supposed to put his feet like that. But like I said earlier, I like to keep them um, almost flat, and it gives them a lot better traction. So we're going to do the transformation with the fin funnels on there this time. So let me get his arm right. So basically what this case is, is you just get the funnels and you turn them like this. So they lay, f they can fold down basically. And you open this up as you saw there, um, and this all folds down, like so, and then his arm, sh his shoulder pad things fold up, yeah, sorry, this is all kind of stiff because it's painted, but, um, yours, like I said, the cannons in the back, they're the funnels, whatever you want to call them, they might be loose, so just keep that in mind. That's what I've heard from people who don't paint it. And hand, hand. And then, as said in the instructions, flip that up, flip that up. And that's him with his fins on his back, but they're on his boosters, so he only has one booster like that. Realism, it's Gundam. So, <laughs> um, uh, I don't think they were going for realism when they made this kit. So now that we have a back in Gundam mode, uh, let's mention what I forgot to mention. He comes with one. One beam saber. He comes with two hilts on his back, but he only comes with one beam saber. Why is Bandai so greedy with beam sabers? I don't know. I really don't know. If I knew, I would let you know. But um, it does fit in his hand. I promise. I've done it before. It's just the paint is blocking it from uh, fitting in right now. So this does fit in his hand. I think I got it in his other hand earlier, so it might fit in easier in that one. Nope. He'll hold it halfway this time. As you can see, I got a cool effect on my beam saber. Why? That's because I went in, airbrushed it, and then lacquered it. So what does your beam saber come like? It is clear. The whole beam saber comes in clear plastic. It is unpainted, uncolored, uncool looking. It is clear. I have never seen a clear beam saber before. I've seen green, yellow, red, blue, never clear. So keep in mind, this one beam saber you get is clear so I highly recommend at least going out and buying a small can of red spray paint and just you know do you spray heavy at the bottom and go lighter and lighter as you go up and it'll cost you about three dollars but it'll give you a nice looking beam saber so that's the case with that and just to let you know this beam saber does work with the O Gundam model kit, which I have another review of, if you'd like to go check that out. And I didn't show it, because I couldn't find it in the O Gundam review, but it does fit on his beam saber, which also does not come with um, a beam saber. So it fits on the hilt, but he doesn't come with a beam saber. I don't understand why they would do that. They're so greedy with their beam sabers. So... Let's take a look at the gun. You saw earlier where I did this. That's because it's useful in this situation. 
the handle, which by the way goes forward and backwards for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't know a gun that would ever need to do that. I guess it's more of so you can get this to fit snug in his hand. And it does work really well. It uh, Keep in mind this is harder to peg in because it's painted, but yours will peg in just fine. And it pegs right in there. Pegs right in and no one's stealing his gun. No one is going to take his gun. That is his gun and no one is taking it. Um, this gem here in the gun, unpainted by the way. So this full gun is going to be great when you get it. Just to let you know, this is a high grade kit so you, you should be expecting pieces to be one color. But also shield, um, here is one of my complaints about this kit. Whoops. Um, let's put his shield on. How does he use his shield like this? You tell me. Um, the only thing I can think of is him going wacko and turning his arm around to use his shield. Backpack fell off. Um, yeah. Well, I guess he doesn't have to turn around there. Yeah. No. He can, he can turn his arm full 360 in the middle around to use his shield and he looks like an idiot. So that's my one big complaint about this kit is that um, you're gonna have to be creative with your shield because that's the best I can think of it looking. Really disappointed about that. I wish, I mean, I don't see why it would have been so hard to just put a peg there and put a little handle so he could hold it. But, oh well, you can't always win. Um, let me put back his fin funnel. So I guess I think everything has been shown for this kit. Um, again, he comes with the extra little hands, and he comes with the sticker sheet, and he comes with beam saber on top of all the stuff he has. So I will go over the pros and cons. Pros about this kit, 1800 yen retail amazing for this. I think this is worth well over 1800 yen retail. This thing is really awesome. It's basically getting two Gundams because it does transform into the Reborn Cannon mode which unlike most Gundam kits actually looks like another kit. I mean if you go look at my review for the Sword Impulse Gundam he has a alternative mode and that's a 4500 yen kit too. That's a master grade and the alternative mode is airplanes, but it really looks like flying legs and flying body with holding a shield and a gun. It doesn't look like, you know, a true alternative mode. Whereas this, you turn him into the cannon, and he looks like a completely different Gundam if you didn't see him from the back, you know? So I think that's really neat. And I think that definitely bumps up the price of this. Now... Um, so that's that's one of the pros. Um, other pros, I mean, he comes with a beam saber. Well, no, that's more of a con, because he comes with one. Pros, he does have these cool-looking things. He has a lot of articulation. You can get him in cool-looking poses, and the pieces do stay on pretty well, as long as you are careful and you know if you do have trouble getting your pieces to stay on you just get a little bit of Elmer's glue squirt it in there and q-tip it off and you got it uh, nice and tight so it's not too hard even if you leave it as plastic um, other things it was nice to paint this is really fun to put together and see how it works um, now I'll go over cons cons. The real big con of this is that he comes with one beam saber, but two beam saber hilts. I don't understand why you would ever do that. It's very rude. <laughs> very rude of them to do that. Um, other cons... I, I had some in my head, but I kept forgetting what they were. Um, unfortunately... 
Um, some of these pieces you might have to glue because I do have this piece falls off sometimes. Your shield might be loose because it has moving parts. Um, these parts, these tan parts, keep falling apart for me. And also, the, um, what else should be glued? Uh, there's a few pieces that should be glued. I mean, I guess that's all there is to be said. Um, other thing is, he comes with stickers, but the problem with these stickers is you just... They're going to be so difficult. I didn't even want to try Like this one right here, it's supposed to go in there, and you're going to have to fool around with it and really get it to work to fit in there, and I really think you'd just be better off masking and painting it. Um... So the stickers are kind of a con, just because of that. But um, I, I don't know. I really, I really love this kit. So that's why I'm trying to think of what my cons were. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry right now. I forgot what the cons were. Basically, there's not too many big cons. Um, there is. I always forget to mention this. I don't have any action bases. I plan to get some, but. He does have a little panel down here. I'm not going to bother breaking it off, but he does have a little action base panel down there that you can break off, just to mention that real quick. But this kit, I mean, if you are looking for a Gundam kit for any which reason, pick this one up right now. This one is really awesome. It's for the price. The, I guess a big pro of this is how much you get for the price. It is 1,800 yen, and you get, like I said, I just said this, two Gundams. That it's how do how do you beat that? You don't. It's it's really cool. So, you know, get yourself one, and it'll look cool unpainted. I promise. Um, it might be a little glossier than this um but yeah um one con like i said earlier shield shield disappoint i am disappoint with shield um i wish the shield would be a shield and not something you put on the back of your arm but i mean I, he can he can use it somewhat i guess like that i mean he can kind of use it he can try and yeah that's that's pretty much it um if you have any questions about this kit please feel free to ask in the comments or send me a personal message and i will answer any questions you have and um i hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching have a wonderful day